Well, YouTube, this is Ass Roots. I've got an album review, which is Seether's album, Holding On To Strings Better Left To Fray. So this came out in 2011, which was actually four years after uh, their 2007 album, Finding Beauty In Negative Spaces, came out, which I just reviewed. So I wanted to get back to these guys because I enjoyed that album and what what I got from it. So I wanted to see how things went in the 2010s decade because I haven't reviewed as much music from this decade as much just because uh, some of these songs really, you know, most of these bands' best moments were in 10 years ago, 8 years ago or so. But I wanted to see how it worked out now just because... You know, if an album was three, four, or five times platinum ten years ago, but they only are going gold or selling 300,000 copies now, there's got to be a reason for that. And so with that same approach, I did want to try their 2011 record. But a little bit of backstory to this Seether album is Finding Beauty in Negative Spaces was actually a pretty large album. It did have four songs supporting it. And when they dropped in late 2007, they toured for most of 2008. Now, after they got off tour and took a break, they decided to go back to work on the album in mid-2009. And, well, they said that they were writing it, and then they did something in 2010. That's where they worked on it. Came out within the first half of 2011. So basic thing with this album is it is not as alternative metal as some as the 2007 one and it also doesn't have a runaway hit like fake it or some that's about the only song i remember by them but as far as most immediate it feels like some of the energy that they had is not as uh prolific this time the first single off this project was the song country song which I really feel like was not the best choice to start off the album. Now, I don't dislike country music, but it's not my cup of tea. And really, you know, this sort of style is kind of different from what I think they've done, and it doesn't suit them as much. But, you know, obviously everyone's entitled to their opinion, so if you like this song, just know it is country as the title says so and some of the other singles were no resolution tonight and here and now and i'm going to talk about a few of these so i think no resolution was probably my favorite that one's back to the alternative metal style and kind of more of a dim and dusk approach and it I don't know what it is that's so appealing about that. That's the strange part, is it just feels as if, you know, things are getting ready to get excited. That's the main reason why I like it. But Here and Now is also a lesser version of that. That one has the same kind of mellow, or not mellow, but this, that one has the same kind of depressing guitar type strings, but it does it in the lighter touch. So. I, I like both of these. The only other song is Tonight, and that sounds like a Foo Fighters song, which I don't really appreciate either. I guess they wanted to try some new stuff. Really, it's not so much a, bi a big deal when artists try new things. It just is a matter of, you know, it working. You know, to some people that may have been their favorite song, but... I prefer alternative metal. So, you know, this is, if you don't know Foo Fighters, they are kind of a pop rock type group. They've done a lot of songs like Learn to Fly that just, you know, have, you know, had, they've done dances on the rock charts just because so many people enjoy these types of songs. And they're usually chart mainstays, but I did not feel like this approach worked for them. But, you know, obviously the charts did, because it did chart pretty high. So this was one of their singles, and it worked. But, so for me, I was two out of four, which I still think I'm probably going to buy the album. But at the same time, you know, it's not a runaway success. I mean, for me liking... 
three out of four or four out of four radio songs. That's magnificent, but I really only liked half. But the meat of this project that I wound up liking the best was in the songs that were not released to radio, which I guess they really didn't want to be uh, typecast. You know, if you can use that word for music, but this they didn't want to be seen as like one trick ponies and screw themselves over. But the main thing is, is that for all the new tricks they try, I still feel like the, the you know, them trying what they did previously in a 2011 rendition is still their best yet attempts, which... Which, you know, which shows. I mean, obviously these songs weren't released to radio, but they could have stood on their own. So songs like Fur Q and Fade Out are some of the rougher songs. And, you know, this just sounds like regular... I mean, it's not quite new metal, but it's also not alternative metal. So it's strange to kind of depict that. Uh... There's another song like Master of Disaster is kind of post-grunge, which is surprisingly quiet on this album. They don't really do post-grunge that much. I'm still kind of learning about rock music around 2011 or so, so really, I don't know how popular post-grunge was. I mean, it was on fire back in 2003, 2005, but I don't know how it works. So, but they didn't really tackle that that much, and... Fade Out, or no, Roses, and Desire for Need. Yeah, Desire for Need's kind of a rougher song, but Roses is alternative metal, and so is No Resolution and Here and Now. So a lot of these, all the, the different styles that you get, it's a little bit of everything, but maybe too much of everything. So that, that's kind of the thing is, you know, I was just looking for more alternative metal. I, I mean, I was, I, yeah, it, 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 the thing is, is this is just a varietized album. That's the main picture about it. So the way I'm going to score this is me liking 7 out of 12, which I guess was the same as last time. Uh, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. And the seven songs I enjoyed were Fur Q, No Resolution, Master of Disaster, Here and Now, Fade Out, Roses, and Desire for Need. Country Song was the song I was on the fence about. If I can find myself liking this song, I would up the album score to about a seven or seven and a half. But right now I'm not as sure that I'll enjoy that. So Social Score I will give a nine because it did have high... All four of the songs charted pretty high, and most people were receptive to this more than I was. But I guess I'm just someone who did not want to see the change, and I kind of wanted them to do the same sound. But, you know, if, if you're more open to experiments and that sort of stuff, this pretty much is your project. But, you know, if you're a fan of some of their older stuff and you just wanted a sequel to 2007, it's like, well, you kind of get it, but you just have to, once again, have an open mind. So, can this record be topped? I think it probably could if they just would have picked, like, a fifth song to back it and do that sort of thing. Another alternative metal song we could have used. And, you know, just not to alienate your old fans. But, you know, the future, see their dropped an album in 2014, they'll probably be back soon. Subscribe for more fun.